Hello, Land Cruiser people, the fans of the FJ40. <laughs> Patrick here. I just thought I would uh, make a little video showing the rear disc brake setup that I put together, that I use, that I do. It is basically very easy. It's a GM conversion. It's um, This is a caliper off of a 1975 Camaro, or really, I believe any passenger car mid 70s will fit the same. Take this off and see a little bit more. These are just the standard pins here. Put the caliper on the side here. All right, this is just the, the basic bracket here. Four bolts on here. I believe these are three eighths. I, I can't remember right off hand, but they're the ones that fit the best in the whole, of course. <laughs> but this is what your bracket looks like. It's just a real basic bracket, 3 8 I actually have a guy that cuts these on a plasma table. He owed me a favor, so I had a, quite a few sets cut. That's the bracket, and then these are the little spacers that go behind it. If you look, there's a little lip right in here, and this fits right on that lip. You can see the spacers in here. I actually put two on this because of the way it lined up with the trail gear rotor. I, this is a trail gear milled rotor. It's basically a GM half ton truck, six on five by five lug pattern. Six on five by five lug is exactly what Toyota uses. It's perfect. What trail gear does is they mill out inside of here because when these come from GM for a GM, there's little blocks in here. And then on the rotor, there's, it's cut like this, or there's little fingers here that would fit in between the little blocks inside of here. And so it would be shaped a little bit different inside of here. But trail gear, what they do is they just mill them out smooth, mill this part smooth, drill out the hole just a little bit so that it fits over the flange on the hub here. And they just see. It fits right on and fits right over the hub there and fits on nice and tight and is perfect. But see how the caliper bracket lines up there. It's very, very simple to do. Very, very simple. There's no cutting, no changing of anything. Just standard trail gear, milled rotor. The bracket and the 75 Camaro caliper and then you, I want a soft line, just so that whenever you take the caliper off, you can move it around and have some freedoms to do whatever. If you run a hard line to it, it, it just kind of makes it hard to work with in the end. Yeah, it's uh, very simple. Very, very simple. Like I said, I could probably cut those quarter inch because I guess what happens is the trail gear mill sits back just a little bit farther you know it's some my design of the bracket with a spacer and then the, the trail gear rotor so you just got to kind of get them to fit together space it a little bit you know one way or another you space this out or space it in you can space the bracket a little bit either way to fit whatever centers best on the rotor that's basically it the Toyota rear disc brake in a nutshell. So the cost, the cost on this, I don't know, I sell these brackets I think for about 40 bucks a pair with the spacers, the trail gear, milled rotors. These are actually only 55 bucks a piece from trail gear. <laughs> Pretty smoking deal. Most of the companies that have a version of a milled rotor or 150 at least or more and then the 75 Camaro calipers I, I think loaded you can buy these for about 30 bucks each <laughs> loaded just means with pens and with shoes so it's like you know it's not that much to do this conversion it's fairly inexpensive 
it, just do a little bit, bit of work to redo the lines and run a soft line. That's about it.